What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got a fun episode for y'all today. I'm out here on the lake with my good buddy in front of the channel, Tiger. It's been a while since we've been out here fishing together, buddy. Been. But we have picked a sweltering hot day to get out here and do it. I mean, it is so hot. It's also the middle of the day. But we're out here to try to do some experimenting with some crappie fishing out here on this lake in the summertime. Like neither of us ever come out here crappie fishing this time of year. Usually we don't even think about it because we're usually fishing for other things, but, but both of us were just kind of thinking it'd be pretty cool if we could figure out how to catch some crappie out here on this lake in the summertime. So we're gonna tool around. We've got the live scope hooked up. We're gonna troll around here in some of this deeper water, try to find some brush piles, some stump piles, and hopefully find some fish and then jig them up. We've got the HC crappie sticks. I'm rocking the 12 footer. I got the 11. Tiger's got the 11 footer. And then of course we're rocking the crappie magnets and we're gonna hopefully find some fish. We have never ever targeted crappie out here on this lake this time of year. And it would be really cool if we could actually get some in the boat. So if y'all are excited to go along with us on this scouting mission, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see if we can put some big slabs in the boat. Let's go. I wasn't even in the water. That's so annoying. What? <laughs> My bait wasn't even in the water. <laughs> oh, dude, there he is. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, dude, it's a big. It's big, get big, big, get the net. Get the net, get the net on him. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Oh my gosh, he smoked it. Look at that thing. That jig is gone. Dude, that's, that's a stud. That is a big old crappie. We did it. There are crappie out here. Heck yeah. All right. I think bait is so far down there. There it is. Look at that. Crappie magnet. Dude, that's a thick one. And that thing had a big belly. That'd be like a two pounder. Oh, for sure. That is a big old crappie. All right, dude. Give me some knuckles. Dude, let's keep uh, poking around out here. Let's get him a live well. You want to you keep some fish? Yeah, we'll keep some fish. Oh, give this thing some power. Here's some juice. Fish number one is a stud white crappie. You get her in the well. Dude, I'm jacked. Let's get some more. Heck yeah. You are? Yeah. Get him, dude. Oh, that is not a monster, but that's a crappie. Hey, it's a crappie. That's a crappie. That is exciting. <laughs> is that a black crappie? Yeah. It's a black crappie. That's not going to be a keeper out no. here. But hey, we're doing the thing. We're catching we're crappie out here. Summertime. <laughs> they're smoking it. They were smoking. I mean, even him. Gone. That, gone. Yeah, you spoke to that mermaid. Mm hmm. Oh. Got tricky on him. Got tricky on him. We've been throwing it the same brush pile I caught that big one at for a little bit. We see a couple of fish down there and we see a couple of good ones, but there's not, there's not, it's not absolutely loaded, but we're trying to get this one big one on top to eat our crap. And he's just being tricky. I want to pitch to that right there. Got him. Oh, it's another good one, Tiger. Woo. Another good one, Tiger. Get up in the boat. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, spot luck, dude. It's big black crappie. Look at that guy. It's bigger than your head. <laughs> that is pretty big. Again. That's a look at that. Choked. I'm not leaving you hanging. I'm not leaving you hanging. Let's go. All right. This is exciting. This is exciting. Got two nice slabs. I mean, good slabs. Got a white crappie. A big old black crappie. I saw more on that one, dude. <laughs> a little white. Got him? Got him. Got him. Dude, that's gonna be close. Oh, I know the non keeper. Oh, slinging him. He's actually closer than we think. He's, he's ain't got no tail. That might be 10. I don't know. That might be a 10 incher. Look at that thing's tail. Looks like you got ate by a catfish. Oh, uh, you hold that fish up. Let me see him. Might be 10. You wanna measure him? Yeah, we'll measure him. 
Something then got that thing. <gasps> Everything else looks good on him though. Oh, that's as close as it gets right there. If his tail <laughs> wasn't jacked up. Yep. Oh well. It's all right. We'll catch more though. Nine and three quarter. And he got there. He goes. He got the crappie slide. Hey, dude. <laughs> that's a uh, how many crappie is that now? That's you've uh, caught three. I've caught two. Five crappie. Out here getting slabby with it. Might be this cast too. That shrinky dink did not want to eat it. Yeah, he wants it. Oh yeah. I saw it's a white bass. Oh, it's a crappie. I thought it was a white bass. I knew there was one there. I hit me with it. Hey, Tiger's finally on the board with his first keeper. Woo. We're slowly but surely piecing some stuff together. That mermaid did it. To, boy, he got hooked good. They all are smoking. When they're biting it, they're eating it. So it's like, it's not like they're being really finicky. It's just that we didn't get the bait in front of them. It's good. Solid keeper. Solid keeper. Where is my jig? Here's my jig. It's crappie. In my bag right now. Yeah. Oh, nice one, tiger. Nice one, tiger. Flipping, 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 flipping. Yes. Buddy. This pile is loaded. He's in the boat. That's a stud. Dude, look at that slab. Not a good one. On the mermaid. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> hey. Monster. Monster. Little guy. Little black crappie. We only caught we've caught all black crappie except for that first one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This guy was just floating around out here. I swapped just the straight pearl crappie magnet. He's like an eight incher. Still cool. Trying to find ourselves another money little stick or a brush pile or something. That one we found just now, the tire caught his last keeper on, was super fire looking, but it was so snaggy, it was so hard to fish. So we're going to try to find something a little bit easier to poke around in. Got him. Slab city. Yeah. There's a white crappie. Mm -hmm. He's 10 inches. I was going to say close. It's going to be close. I was like, there's too many fish. Make it. Like there was too many fish down there. Where's our, where's our thingy? Uh... Back up. Come on. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, we just dipped the, the measure because it is really hot. <laughs> we about lost our slab. I think he's 10, dude. I think so. So he's long. Woo, yeah. Wipe that off so y'all can see it real good. About 10 and an eighth. 10, 10. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get him. Get him. Get him. I think we should sit in the water. Oh my gosh. Here. Here. I caught him. Yeah. Dude, I just saw your line start going out. I was like, that's weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was just dangling. Why are we not spider rigging? Oh my gosh. It's a chunk. That's a good one. Okay, well, okay, here's a, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there's my 10 incher I just caught. Yeah. And then uh, this one, I left it dangling in the water and Tiger's got us a, another one close to two pounds. It's a good one. That it's is, another good one. that thing is huge. Yeah. Dude, I just saw that line start like going out. I was like, is he hung in a stump? And I said the hook, I was like, nope. That's crazy. All right, well, we got two keepers. We've earned it today. We've earned these keepers. Nice. Dude, heads up fishing can't make this up here we go here we go here we go <gasps> got him oh ha, ha, ha. oh catch a big and catch a little one i think there was two fish swimming side by side the mark looked big now like that pearl one i was throwing the monkey milk at first to show enough the show enough color but the pearl has been doing them quite dirty. I also swapped down to a lighter jig head also. I think that has something to do with it. I was using an eighth, but we're not fishing really deep water and the 16th is doing the job. Here he comes. 
That's a big one. Got him. Got him. Yeah, baby. Oh, one followed him. No, that's just a shadow. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, I think we got us another keeper, Tiger. Yep. I think we got ourselves another keeper. But that one we caught earlier was a keeper, and this one here is just... Definitely. That's Definitely. a ten and a half. Oh, God. He's 11. Ow. He's what he is. He's ten, ow. He's 10 and three quarters. Another solid keeper. Our favorite size to keep. Boom. Yeah, tiger. Yeah, tiger. That's not gonna be a keeper. Nope. But that was awesome. Flop. Crappie flop. It's another good one. He's got that jacked up tail. Huh. Okay, guys, so it's pretty hot. We've decided to come out here and seek some refuge out here in the shade of this bridge. And we are seeing a lot of fish in front of us. We don't think they're crappie, but they look fishy. So we're gonna downsize our stuff and see what these guys are if we can catch them. Oh, did you have a bite? Yeah. Oh, we got him. Oh. oh, what was it? We have a pretty good idea of what these things are, but we're not certain until we catch them. Look at them on the graph right there. You see them? See that ball? What do you think those are, guys? Oh, missed him. Leave your guesses down in the comments, and we should hopefully be answering it in just a second. There's literally 2,000 of them. Got one. Oh. Got one. Got one. Oh, it's a big one. Dude, that's a stud. <laughs> if you guessed yellow bass, then you are correct. That is a monster yellow bass. Oh, Tiger's got one. That thing is pulling drag. That's another stud. <laughs> Goodness, these are big yellow bass. Look at that, guys. Two big old studly yellow bass. There's probably some white bass down here, too. Mm -hmm. But. Just taking a break from the crappie just for a minute because it's so hot. It's like 100 degrees almost. No wind, but it feels really good underneath this bridge. I mean, those are big enough to eat. We should probably keep some of them. We'll see. We got some nice crappie to eat. I don't know why. Got him. Got him. It's a crappie. Got him. Oh, it's another keeper, dude. It's another keeper, I think. I think it's gonna keep. It's gonna be like 10 and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 10 and a half. That, that was my thought. Oh, that's a big one. Big one. Got him. Yeah, baby. There's another good black crappie right there, guys. Found this tree, looks like there, it's loaded with them. We haven't really been we haven't really been seeing a whole lot, but we just pulled up this one tree and it looked like there was about 10 or 15 in it. Got it right through the middle of it and this guy smoked it. That's a that's my biggest black crappie of the day. All right, guys, so we've been out here for a couple hours now and uh, we've kind of lost our bite. You know, we didn't, we haven't really been smoking them, but we've been steadily, you know, seeing some fish and catching some fish. We probably caught I don't know, 15 or 20 all together. Caught several small ones, but we got some really good fish. Um, but we're actually going to um, load the boat and we're gonna haul over to another spot on the lake and try to see if we can find some crappie over there. But this spot was definitely good to us. I think we came out here at a better time of day, like literally not in the middle of the day when it's so crazy hot. We could have done a little bit better, but let's show you guys a couple of fish we got. We got some slabs. I mean, that right there ain't too bad, guys. A couple of big slab white crappie. Like I guarantee if this was like any other time of year, these are probably two pounders. They are some big guys, probably like 15 inches. We can measure them. Let's drop them on the board real quick and see how big they are. Let's just get a look-see. Might as well get a rough estimate. 14 or 15, Tiger. Ooh, I think they're gonna, almost, they're gonna be right at 15, that big one. Yeah, at 15. But those are a couple of really nice fish. We got several more good ones here in the live well. I mean, probably got maybe close to 10 in there. I'm not exactly sure, but we're not done. We're gonna go try another spot so we can catch some more. But like we mentioned in the beginning, we caught all these fish so far on the crappie magnet. They never seem to let us down. If you're planning on doing some crappie fish in the summer, be sure to check them out. I'll have them linked down in the video description. But that being said, let's go to the gas station and get some strength, get some drinks, dude. I am parched. I agree. I have withered probably 10 pounds out here today, but it's been worth it. But we'll see you guys when we get to the next spot. 
All right, guys, so we made it over here to spot number two. We're about to put the boat in. Well, we actually already just put the boat in a minute ago, but I'm not sure if you can tell. Out here in the distance, it's kind of cloudy. It got kind of stormy, so we kind of chickened out for a second. We decided to put it back on trailer and uh, make sure it wasn't going to storm on us before we made the run out to the spot. But some crazy stuff was going on over here. So while we were heading over here, we saw like four or five fire trucks, like a fire search and rescue boat. We saw some cops. We saw some game wardens. We're like, what the heck is going on? There must have been a body. And so we get up here into this parking lot and it was loaded. You couldn't even drive through. There was cops everywhere. And it was like they were just finishing up something. I was like, hey, is everything okay here? And he was like, yeah, everything's good. You going fishing? And I was like, yeah, we're going fishing, blah, blah, blah. And then this old guy came around the truck and he said, did y'all hear about the body they just got out of the lake? So apparently something happened here last night or this morning or something. I don't know, literally right, right here at this boat ramp, they found a dude and he was like tied up to a rope and yeah, kind of sketchy. And um, we think that this is the rope. We don't think they got it. So I don't know if this is part of the crime scene or what, but yeah, that's kind of sketchy. They, they found him right there. like literally like an hour and a half ago yeah i mean we saw the rescue boats leaving as we pulled in yeah so that's kind of crazy so we were um thinking about coming to this spot first so how we came here first we might would have stumbled upon something we honestly probably did not want to stumble upon so that's crazy we don't know what happened don't know if it was like self-inflicted or somebody did it to somebody kind of sketchy kind of like makes us not want to fish here but this is kind of like our closest ramp to the spot we want to go fishing so yeah i think we're actually about to dump the boat it really isn't looking that sketchy anymore the winds let up it says on our radar it's not supposed to storm anymore until like later so i think we're just gonna send it what do you think send it you want to send it and if it gets well and if it gets sketchy we can just drive back it's a pretty good boat trail yeah. to this to this ramp so it will have a nice breeze on a hot day anyways yeah it's been super hot but anyways just wanted to give you guys that little update because it's crazy it's yeah. wild i mean you just <laughs> it's, it's crazy it's unfortunate but it's just it's just crazy but anyways we're hoping to get to the spot and catch some more crop for you guys, so we will see you guys once we get there. All right, guys, well, we are back here at the house. There must have just been some bad juju over on that side of the lake because we fished all around in some good deep water that we thought was going to hold some fish. We found a few brush piles, found some good laydowns out there, and uh, we saw a few fish on the graph, but we couldn't get anything to bite, and it really just was not overall as good as the spot that we started at today so i guess we should have stayed where we were at but we just definitely wanted to you know scout around and try to find some areas that might be holding some summertime crappie but today was definitely an achievement because like i said this is the first time that we have ever targeted crappie out there this time of year and we caught some really nice ones i got them all spread out here on the cleaning table we're about to get them cleaned up and we're going to cook them up for dinner tonight take a look at all these fish i mean we have got some dandies bunch of good 10 and a half 11 inch fish we've got a couple 12 inchers and then we got our two big ones we weighed our biggest one which is this guy he was 1.89 pounds and this one here was 1.6 um had this been a different time of the year you know in the fall or the winter time both of those fish are probably going over two pounds so really solid fish and they're gonna make some great table fares so let's get them all cleaned up there's only 11 of them so not too many but we probably caught over 20 or probably close to 25 all together if you count all the small ones so definitely a good day and i'm definitely looking forward to expanding on this and hopefully catch some more fish but anyways let's get these fish cleaned up and we will see you guys when we get to cooking them all right we're back here in the house to get the fish all cleaned up got them here on the cutting board these are the ones we're gonna be eating tonight. We probably got about 10 fillets here on cutting board. We got them seasoned up with a little bit of Old Bay. And we're just gonna be making just some fish and rice. I've got some water boiling here on the stove top. And we're just gonna make this Spanish styled rice and just mix them both together. And it's always just super good. I actually haven't eaten anything all day, which is kind of crazy. So I'm very, very hungry and I'm gonna be devouring every bit of this tonight. So let's get it all cooked, to, cooked up, cooked together. And uh, let's see how it tastes. Okay, just finished putting the plate together and it looks amazing, especially with how hungry I am. I've got the uh, the seasoned up fish fillets, we've got the Spanish rice, and then we got some broccoli. And it looks super good, all mixed up together. And uh, we're gonna go in and do ourselves an official taste test. Okay, we got some fish, we got some rice. Let's see how it tastes. Amazing as usual, guys. 
I could literally eat that every day for the rest of my life. I know it's kind of simple. I probably would get bored of it eventually, but it's just so, so good. I actually had a very similar meal, if not the exact same meal, last night. It's just so good. It's a staple. We eat it here all the time. I encourage y'all, if y'all are folks that just simply go out and catch fish and fry them up every time, you should try, you know, something like this. Just season them up in the skillet, add some rice, maybe brown, white, brown, brown rice, white rice, Spanish rice. It really doesn't matter. Throw some veggies in it. It's so good. It's healthier for you. It just, oh, so good. And I'm just so excited to sit down and relax after a long day of fishing, a long day of scouting, figuring things out there on the lake. I think there is great potential for us to find a big school of fish out there and really, you know, learn how to dial in these summertime crappie. But uh, I'm going to let this sit for a second. There's somebody over here you guys need to see. Y'all been asking a lot about her. She's really cute. Look who it is. It's Mama J. Baby Summer. Baby Summer. And Baby Cypress. Cypress, can you say hi? Hi. What you watching? I'm watching Winnie the Pooh. Watching Winnie the Pooh? Do you like Winnie the Pooh? Yes. It's so good. We all love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> but look, it's Baby Summy. She's so cute and snuggly and so sleepy. Oh, she's so sleepy. She <laughs> she's a good little sleeper. <laughs> she really does sleep really well. I think she sleeps better than Cypress did whenever he was her age. Oh, yeah. We keep saying she's she's kind of lazy because Cypress was always like very alert and yeah. very active, like the moment he was born. And she's just easygoing, just sleepy. <laughs> just a little snuggle bug. Now she does yes. kind of she does get on when she gets hungry. She oh gets, yeah. She gets she, grumpy. Yeah, and she, she lets you know she's hungry. Yeah. And she lets you know when she's done eating too. Yes. <laughs> so you may say you're done. She's like I, I'm done when I say I'm done. And then she says then I go to sleep. She goes I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> The summer's doing great. We actually have some updates on her. We're gonna film another video and give you guys a full update on summer, but we wanted to show you her. Leno, she's doing good. She's getting big. Little angel baby. Little angel baby. <laughs> and you're doing good too, aren't you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Feeling great. It's Looking just, good. It's just getting close to bedtime. <laughs> yeah, we're all tired. We just want to eat and go to sleep. Yeah. Are you excited to eat your fish? Yes. It's gonna be I delicious. Am. I already tried it, it's good. It's always delicious. It's really good. <laughs> But I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I think we're all just going to sit here, hang out on the couch, get covered in the blanket, just take it easy for the rest of the night, watch some Winnie the Pooh, eat some dinner. That fish is going to be so good. It already, already, already is good. I know it's good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like I said, just take it easy. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and Tiger out on the lake today. We had a lot of fun fishing, even though it was super hot. Kind of ran into some sketchy situations, um, but had a great time out there nonetheless. And we look forward to getting back out there with y'all again soon. Jay's excited to get on the water really soon. Yeah. Y'all look out for that. But if y'all enjoyed today's episode, do us a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.